on YouTube and on Facebook and also on Marie Monday's podcast, Chats, Tunes and Crack. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. I am so, so excited to have my very special guest later on, the amazing Tony Bruno. Incredible. What an incredible musician and producer, MD. So excited to talk to him later about this new show, Rock Me Amadeus. Can't wait. And I do uh, do a collaboration video at this point of the show. And in honor of my special guest coming on later, we did a collaboration video together at the very start of this COVID thing. So this is um, the most amazing version of a Cat Stevens song. And I absolutely was delighted to do this with these amazing, amazing musicians. And um, I know some of you might have seen it before or heard it a little bit before, but I just wanted to, to put it on here. And of course, it's Tony Bruno on a little instrument called the Charango. Amazing. He just He's a multi-instrumentalist. And Gilmore Gomez on percussion. The brilliant Colin Smith on vocals, Emmett O'Malley on guitar and backing vocals, and Adam Jacobs on upright bass, and myself on the fiddle. So I hope you enjoy this. It is um, was just shot on location, and Emmett O'Malley put it together, and I hope you guys love this. This is Where Do the Children Play? Slot machine Get what you want when you want Cause you can get anything I know you've come a long way we change your day to day So tell me, where do the children believe?
Joel. Joel. Eu tô gravando. Tchau, tchau. I'm doing... I love that. Ciao, ciao. I'm doing a video. Come on. <laughs> I love that collaboration. And I was so delighted when Tony asked me to do that with, oh, these amazing, amazing vocalists and musicians. And, you know, it really cheered people up at the beginning of all this. And that was a few months ago. So, you know, it's fantastic. And let's see what's coming up next from Carl Nesbitt. Carl Nesbitt is a prodigious a musician and talent, say Irish Music Magazine. And of course, he has a great YouTube channel and I love seeing what he's up to. Um, he has the most amazing tutorials on his channel and also some videos as well. And you know what? He is amazing at playing with other people. And also his, his lessons is at flute tricks at hotmail.com f-l-u-t-r-i-c-k-s at hotmail.com and his youtube channel is brilliant and i have a video from carl here with amazing musicians the neff brothers flory and own neff and flory is playing the inland pipes and own is playing some blistering fiddle blistering so enjoy this it's a gavotte and two fantastic reels afterwards
thanks everybody so much for ordering from RaidNesbittViolin.com for all things musical and your lessons and your cameo messages and also from ordering from Solstice.shop for my Celtic inspired jewellery and I really appreciate all the support at this time especially on Become a Supporter on Facebook as well and I just want to thank the orders star orders this week tracks and paths devils a bit mini dvd from the nesbitt family is back in stock and i'll be sending out the back orders this week and shara pereira de pontes in brazil ordered one this week and also christopher baker you ordered a maraid custom magic rosin i hope you enjoy that and thanks so much everybody for your orders and for your support Thanks everybody for coming back for your lessons this week. It's so easy to book on the calendar at moraidnesbittviolin.com and you'll get loads of bundles and great deals there and more. And I'd love to thank this week Lisa Bybee, New Hampshire, USA, Brianna Lulivur, Canada, Elizabeth Callahan, California, USA, Tiffany Moore, Chicago, USA, Kathy Thibervell, Texas, USA, Catherine Reestar, South Carolina, USA, and Christopher Baker, Tennessee, USA. And I'll see you next week for your lessons. I have a tune for you this week, as usual, from Kathleen Nesbitt's Fiddle tutorial book and CD available on MaraidNesbittViolin.com. And I have a reel for you this week, and it's called The Maids of Mitchellstown, and it's on page 35 of the book. <laughs> Hope you liked that tune, guys. I uh, love playing a tune from that book every week. And hopefully you'll get to, you know, learn a tune a week.
and put it up on your stories and tag me and I'll put it in my stories. And so that brings me on to a Celtic spell this week, guys. I do have one this week and it is about music in general, Celtic music and the harp and the significance that the harp has in Irish folklore, of course. And so music was of great importance to the Celts because they believed it had the power to enchant. The names of the three noble strains of Irish music ends in the word tree, which means to enchant. There are three noble strains of Irish music, Gan three, which is the joyful music, Soon three, lullaby music, and Gull three, sorrowful music. Music could therefore magically summon or control emotion. It could also take the hearer into a place of dream and vision and bring the soothing calm of forgetfulness of everyday stresses. It was an integral part of the Celtic other world. The sound of beautiful music greeted the entry to every hero into this realm, often being produced by magical birds. Magical birds also attended the silver stringed harp of Angus Og, which means young Angus, who used it like Apollo to charm the gods. For the harp was considered particularly magical. It was also owned and played by the gods and it is the national emblem of Ireland, of course. And the harp is one of today's most widely recognized Irish symbols apart from the shamrock. It was the favorite accompaniment of telling old tales and being able to conjure all the different moods, as well as to accompany vocal declamations of poetry. Thus, every bard at the time was expected to be skilled on it. Evocative Irish music today is said to have come from tunes overhead in fairy revels. So I hope you liked that Celtic spell because the harp in Ireland is extremely important. And that brings me on to my very, very special guest for today. Now, I just want to talk about Tony first, and I want to put up this gorgeous photo by an amazing photographer, Karen Bruno. Karen Bruno Photography, Tony's beautiful wife, but she is the most amazing photographer also. And I just want to talk about Tony here. And he's just going to kill me because he's very modest, but I'm going to talk about him anyway and give an introduction video. Tony became musical director and guitarist for Enrique Iglesias in 1999. Since then, he has put together six of his shows and done countless TV performances. In 2005, when Anastasia needed to shake up her Live at Last tour, she called Tony to create a new performance that would light the world on fire. Together with choreographer Tina Landon, the two created a show so energetic that Anastasia added a second disc to an already finished DVD to capture it in all its glory. In the last decade, Tony has worked with a wide range of the world's most exciting musical artists, including Rihanna, Enrique Iglesias, and so many more. Tony is responsible for all facets of live shows, award show performances and TV shows. By working closely with the artist as well as audiovisual professionals, Tony always creates a great team environment and delivers a new and exciting experience for the audience. His TV production credits include America's Got Talent, X Factors, Top of the Pops, the AMAs, just so many to mention. Tony has written and produced songs with top artists, including Mandy Moore, Donna Summers, In Excess, Colin Hay, and Enrique Iglesias. His song Daylight in Your Eyes for German artists, No Angels, was a second best-selling German single of all time. Tony has worked on writing songs of the world's top songwriters, and also he has lent his extraordinary guitar skills to numerous hit records with top producers like Ted Templeman, Bob Rock and Desmond Child. Rock Me Amadeus, a new rock classical fusion show is now in creation for 2021. And you know what? I, I know that Tony is, hopefully he won't mind me doing this, but I want to show this video because it just gives a taste of what Tony does. He's absolutely incredible. And then we're going to chat with Tony about Rock Me Amadeus. <laughs>
My name is Tony Bruno. I'm working with Rihanna here at the Grammys. Um, what I love about working with her is she doesn't want to repeat herself on any of these, uh, like any TV performances. Rihanna! <laughs> So we'll take the same song, and if we do, you know, six or seven TV shows or award shows or whatever, we'll try and do a different version of the song musically as well as visually. In this case, she's actually doing um, a song with Drake. Soft lips. Yeah, you it's pretty cool. It's it's different take on the song. Amazing. I can't wait to introduce you all to the brilliant Tony Bruno. Tony, how are you? It's so great to see you. I'm blushing, Maraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to give you I had to give you a good introduction, you know. <laughs> oh my god, so many shout outs there. My wife and everything. You know the funny thing about this is the like my son was too young when I was doing a lot of that stuff to really appreciate it. The only thing he cares about is like, Papa, you worked with Drake? You worked with Drake, like that's the only thing that matters to him. It's hysterical. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tony, you're just amazing. Thank you so much for being on today. And uh, we had yeah. Dee Snyder on last week and he was singing your praises and he's so excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we've so much to talk about and we'll talk about the new show, Rock Me Amadeus, coming soon. I just can't yeah. wait. I know, for two reasons, because it's gonna be great and also you're gonna be in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a it's a really exciting time right now because, uh, you know, in a way we're we're kind of creating something from the ground up. Even though we had the we both of us we've been in this uh, a version that was similar, but yeah. we just learned from what didn't work and tried to implement what we know would really work. It's really it's we're in the beginning phases, but it's great. I'm so happy to be part of it. Absolutely, and do you know what, Tony? We're so lucky that you're the musical director. It's amazing and you know you always have these amazing fresh ideas and we were just taught we were doing a little sound check folks just a while ago and i'm i'm really excited because i kind of tend to learn new little snippets about this amazing rock classical fusion spectacular show that's going to happen in 2021 rock me amadeus and i'm so i'm so happy i'm in it number one <laughs> and <laughs> number two <laughs> number two we were talking about all those amazing ideas you have you know in in the current climate the way it is yeah i mean that it's funny how the whole thing started because we as you know because you guessed it in one of them but when this whole thing you know lockdown started you know everybody's trying to find a way to occupy their own time i kind of started doing things by doing these morning guitar solos of my favorite yeah. song and putting them online. And then um, one of my friends saw it, our friend Colin, and he said, dude, yes. why, don't, why don't we do a Thin Lizzy song? I'm like, <gasps> yeah, let's do that. So we did a couple of Lizzy songs before we did the uh, Cat Stevens song. And they started becoming, you know, I saw what the impact they had on people. Uh, and mm -hmm. I realized, you know, this is great. And then all of a sudden a light bulb went off my head. I'm like, hold on a second. Why aren't we doing this with our own show? while yeah. 
and play live. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to hopefully every four to five weeks put out a new video. And if we can get as creative as we, as we want to be budget wise, I think people are going to be in for a lot of surprises. They're going to be in for a lot of surprises, you know. I mean, obviously, we don't want to give away too many secrets, you know, but it's, um, you know, the 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 groundbreaking technology that's uh, going into to making um, some things that are going to give people teasers coming up, and it's just going to be brilliant. It's so exciting. It is. Uh, there, the good thing about this also is because we're doing it virtual, and you're in Boston, and I'm here, I don't need to get whipped by your bow. So. <laughs> <laughs> you think I was going to bring that up, did you? Okay, just so you guys know, on a regular basis, she would beat me on stage with her bow if I was misbehaving in any way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And which was, uh, you know, he, I mean, Tony's just one of these musicians who, you know, he can, he can just saunter on stage, play amazingly. We were talking about this last week with Dee Snyder, and, you know, he just walks on. Now, I mean, I know we weren't, it don't, you know, I don't mean you're lazy by any means, Tony. You're, you're. It's just that you're so amazing that you can walk on. You don't get nervous. You, you know, a little bit of warm up, and you're good to go. And you know, so I think I was a bit jealous. So I was like, kind of tattering you with the bow you're, the you're, time. You're a very methodical person. You're, you're like a vocalist. You're so. Oh, that's a great picture. I love that. Yeah, I love that too. That that that's great. That's the high, a high high note. I remember that, and we we had such a great time and. You know, it's um, quite a great stage to have done Broadway, you know, and um, it's 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 great. And I can't wait for this uh, new show. And I and by the way, everybody, I have some homework from my musical director, Tony Bruno, to do for uh, tomorrow night. I have to do a video for him of a track that we have recorded and I'm so looking forward to that. And so I'll be here folks with my GoPro and my phone and trying to make myself look amazing. And then you guys are gonna work all your magic with all the editing and the fabulous stuff that happens afterwards. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give a sneak peek if I may about what we're trying to do down the road because yes. I think people love this. There's uh, my good friend Manny works for a marketing company. They're like a more like an advertising company. Uh, called character and he turned me on to this whole right. virtual event thing where you can put yourself or as many people participating into any world you want um so we're we're going to explore that instead of trying to do everything analog uh, or i mean it's analog but i mean live maybe even do avatars of ourselves and stuff like that just you know because i think these videos have to be uh, they have to stand the test of time they can't be covid videos you know when all this is gone yeah. and we'll see returns I want to be able to look at these three, four years down the road. These are still great, you know. So I think if we're going to try and explore those avenues as quickly as possible. But I know uh, that's so, so such a great, such a great thing, Tony. My goodness, yeah. You know, they have to stand the test of time, as you were saying. Mm -hmm. And you came yeah. up, you know, for me, it came up quite a bit in uh, the discussion of this because I don't know if most of you people know, but like when when we first started the original show we were working in, it was very. I mean, it was extremely format and there was like almost placeholders for everybody. You have to hit your mark and your lighting mark and your mark. And the thing was, it just, it didn't have any soul to it. it, it so we slowly started injecting ourselves into it, mostly myself and Maraid, uh, and we would be little troublemakers. Um, <laughs> that would <be> marks. <laughs> and they'd be like, you guys are supposed to be here. You're not gonna be in your light. At one point I'm like, you know what? I'd rather be in the dark doing this than be in the light doing nothing. So it started to become our, not our show, but we were carrying kind of this, when the singers weren't singing, we were carrying the the purpose of the show, which is like kind of like good versus evil, you know. Although yeah. she could be the evil as much as I could, it was you know <laughs> classical versus rock and pulling each other into in, into our own directions. And and all of a sudden, people started buying into it. Even the producers, and they were like, "Yeah, you know what? This really works. Let's follow that lead." So I'm really glad. And that that was what we were talking about when we first started conceptualizing this. Like we have to make more of that, make more and and more comedy, which you and I were a big proponent of in that one thing we did with Dee Snyder, the Blue Danube. That was like, I still watch clips of that. If anybody wants to see this online, Blue Danube waltz, Dee Snyder, we're not gonna take it. The beginning of yeah. it, you can hear the audience hysterical laughing. Oh, it's amazing. You know what, Tony? I did play that last week when Dee was on. and. Oh, yeah, I did at the end and, um, you know, and I just let, let everyone know on YouTube and on Facebook, that show is going to be up on YouTube um, because, you know, it's, um, you know, with, with a few different technical difficulties, uh, it, you know, it just got blocked, 
with with you know some music rights and stuff like that but you know uh we we have permissions and everything but there you go you know things happen and but we're gonna people will people will see that you know and yeah. um we we love we just 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 loved doing that it was so so great wasn't it <laughs> it was and, and you know humor in music is just falls under the heading of entertainment at the end of the day we're there to entertain people, not to be to take ourselves too serious in one direction or the other. I mean, we have to pay yeah. you know homage to the music we're doing, but at the yeah. same time, you know, people don't want to just sit there and watch a concert. It gets a little boring and linear. So I think the more of that we do, the better. And Dee's just amazing at all this because he's he's a natural born entertainer, and he's also you know he's a smart ass and he's got a great wit about him. So I love him. <sighs> Oh my goodness, he, he was amazing uh, last week, you know, he was, you know, talking about everybody, about Tony and Alison and Chloe and just being in early and warming up and, you know, it's so great that he's going to be, you know, involved in Rock Me Amadeus, that's going to be larger than life. Yeah, it really is. And I, you know, I, I love the fact that he was so easy about it when, I mean, we, the first video we just shot, um, it's more like an introduction as to who we are. So it's an interview combined with some live stuff. And originally we had Matt Pinfield, uh, who used to be a very big uh, VJ in the metal yeah. part of uh, you know um, uh, MTV. But as we got closer to the day to shoot, I started asking, I'm mentioning it, telling people Matt Pinfield's doing it. And a lot of people didn't remember who he was because it's been so long since people watch, watch MTV. So, we got closer to the date. I, I panicked. I called Allison uh, Cambridge, our soprano, and I was like, hey, um, and she's my partner in this thing. So we're like, we got to figure this out, man. Every time I mention Matt Pinfield, I just, it falls on deaf ears. People are like, I think I know who that is. <laughs> like, why didn't we ask D, who's like, I mean, the most obvious person? She's like, you think you do it? I literally called him right there. I'm like, hang on, I'm going to get him on the phone. And he's like, yeah, man, let's do this. I'm like, yes. Oh my goodness! Oh, you know, and I didn't even know that when he came on last week, last uh, last week on on Raid Mondays, um, the night before we were having a quick chat, Tony, you know, and I said, "Oh, Dee's coming on tomorrow," and he said, "Oh, do you know? Uh, you know, he's 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 involved in the show." And I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. By the way, I love this name, Raid Mondays. I might do Tony Tuesdays. If that's cool. Do Tony to Tuesdays? <laughs> yeah. Look. Hey, Bob Kinkle says hi. Hey, Bob, hey, Bob. how's it going? Hi, Bob. Oh, another amazing musician. Wow. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> it's great. Speaking, oh, of, amazing he, musicians. Well, speaking of amazing musicians as well, I, your brother is no joke. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you've been talking about it, but I was watching this video. I'm like, are you kidding me? I know, I know. Yeah, I look. You know, sometime Tony, you you both will work together. He's the most amazing musician and educator. He's incredible, very outside the box, like you. You know, and you know, he's you'd love all he's because uh, you love all the different little instruments and your multi instrument uh, instrumentalist as well. So, you know, you'd love him. <laughs> I'm kind of a multi instrumentalist. I think your brother's a legit multi instrumentalist. <laughs> Oh, he's pretty legit, all right. But actually, uh, uh, lovely uh, lady, Kathy Thiberville, uh, she says, yes to Tony Tuesdays. And the comments are coming in hard and fast, guys. I can't even keep up, Tony, so we won't even bother. But anyway, <laughs> um, the um, but we're going to show everyone's comments, but we're just, we're, we're kind of, they're coming in really fast, which is fantastic. And um, so Kathy was saying that she absolutely loves all the guitars in the background. And you, I know you play uh d'angelica angelico guitars right yes they do and those people have been absolutely amazing i've got uh there's well this is my d'angelico right here hold on a second this... oh wow <laughs> this You've is my so i'm not doing a public service message but this guitar is absolutely yeah. just i mean it's just a work of art and it sounds yeah. amazing but they've been is great yeah, that's a gorgeous Tony. What a sound! Yeah, it's it's just a beautiful finish and everything. They um they've been really good to me, I have to say, and they actually gave us the space to do um the video we just did. Yeah. Um, so it's it's when you see it, it's you know, it's a beautiful space. It's on one part of it's like all guitars, and then they have this great stage and they have a bar and everything. It's it's well it's well decorated and everything. So sh big shout out to oh. all the people, <laughs> Jessica and Justin at D'Angelico. Thank you guys. Uh absolutely and do you know what um i do have 
some uh, like amazing. I, I let, let's play this because this is um, I, I I love this, and we'll talk about uh, me hitting you with the bow after this. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I worked with Enrique for Enrique Iglesias for 12 years, and then I did Rihanna for five years. So I've always had to bring three different guitars, single coils, you know, humbuckers and stuff. And since I've got that guitar, it's just me, that guitar, and the pedal board. It does everything. And actually, in, in a sense, it's not even replicating what I used to do. It's better. The tone-wise, it's just all around a much clearer, more precise tone, and the intonation is always spot on. I love it. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, that is a great guitar. It's a D'Angelico Angelico Atlantic, and I love that thing. Oh my goodness! It just uh, oh, you make it sing. You really make it sing, Tony. You know, and um, so many, so many. Oh, please come to Germany with Rock Me Amadeus as well. You know, we're going to try. <laughs> my wife Karen is from Germany. She's from Cologne, so we love. I love Cologne. Cologne Cathedral, uh, Cathedral. I can't even pronounce it. It's so, so beautiful, isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, we, we actually climbed it. The, I forgot how many steps. My wife should be like, how do you should know this? But, uh, oh, yeah. my goodness. Uh, yeah. Look at these old World War II pictures when almost all of Cologne is leveled. It's the only thing yeah. standing. Yeah. Like, as if people were like, no, no, we can't wreck that. It's just too gorgeous. Oh, it's it's incredible. Uh, what what an amazing place. And hopefully we'll get to travel over there when all this is over, you know? <laughs> you know, and Kathy says you're a rock guitar god for sure. Absolutely. Right, now I have to do this. <laughs> Bob, Bob's been to the top. Bob's been to the top. Okay, Bob. Go on. <laughs> Love it. Uh, this is fantastic. And um, yeah, well, we do have a story about you using my bow um, and it was, uh, I was so embarrassed because Tony uh, in this picture has my bow, right? And he is, um, you know, doing the whole iconic uh, thing with the bow and the guitar. And, and of course, I mistakenly said to you, oh, put a bit of rosin on it. I was to make it, that would make it sound amazing. And, and then we <laughs> tell them that story, Tony. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So it's, uh, it's that Black Les Paul up there. And, one day I'm playing it and we're in the middle of a show and it's just like right where your, your hand touches the body of the guitar. It's like so sticky. It feels like flypaper or something. I'm like, I'm like, I gotta clean my guitar. How the hell did it get so dirty? And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Like my hands were sticking. I couldn't even play. And I say this to uh, Marie and she's like, she's like, oh, dear, I'm so sorry. She goes, I put a bit of rosin on your bow. I thought it would help you. I'm just like, I'm like, Marie, that's super sweet. but. Like, I don't know if you notice, I don't really bow my strings. I'm kind of beating them with the bow, which is why the, the horse hairs are like all over the place. Uh, I don't oh. really bow. And she's like, but it doesn't help it sound better. I'm like, no, in fact, my strings now need to be changed because they just gook all over them. <laughs> she's like, <I'm> so <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, I found out that Tony, because I mean, you, you know, we're, you're, smashing the bow and i was saying now you, you know this is one of my custom bows tony so you know be careful with it right he goes oh yeah <laughs> you know you're saying yeah i'd be careful then we're up on stage on broadway and you're hammering the hell out of it and it was just amazing <laughs> hairs were flying and i just looked over and i went oh no <laughs> you were you were on there like this you were like <laughs> i'm like oh my god she's gonna hit me for sure with the other one <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god you have a guitar there tony i don't know i don't want to pressurize you in, and kind of pressure you into playing but you can if you want <laughs> anyway well, I, mean, I don't know what i would play but yeah um, you just you just have so you know you could just play anything tony it just sounds amazing <laughs> I'm doing, you know what I'm actually doing right now? I'm giving a shout out to our our good friend Colin Smith. I'm in the middle of producing a few songs for him, and he's amazing. You should go to his oh yeah Instagram and website sometime. What a voice! Uh, and we're doing we're working on like uh we're almost done with his record. I'm just I've got one of his tracks up now. I'm just oh my yeah. goodness, that so, would just I I can't wait to hear that because I love Colin Smith's voice. He's incredible, absolutely yeah. incredible. He's something else. He's like my favorite male vocalist. He really is. He's just got this soul yeah. that, you know, just gets inside of you. I love him. And he's a yeah. fellow. Yeah, he's a fellow Irishman. And um, he's just just amazing. And uh, like I played the collaboration video we did, we all did together. Do you remember Colin was, was singing and Emmett O'Malley? Mm -hmm. And I just it was just, just fabulous. I, I just um, loved being in that and colin's voice he's incredible he's incredible and justin, um so justin just gave me some grief about destroying your boat did you see that <laughs> oh did he oh. oh justin how dare you damage one of Mairead's bows thanks justin thanks very much <laughs> well i think you still have it anyway or did i take it away from you i probably did uh, you, you took one the other one i i, I literally made sure that you didn't take it i think it's down here somewhere yeah somewhere. it's down there somewhere yeah yeah i played um i always play with my my custom bows like you know because you know i sell them on my website and you know it's 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 just so you know such a, a great thing to do and i love playing with them the great balance and you know it was great to have you play with it <laughs> even I, though you I, kind of, I, like, I was i hope you know this is not going to return in the same shape that you gave it to me and you're like it's fine it's fine <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you might have to get a rehaired. I know the whole idea is breaking the hairs on the guitar. I know that the, cool. the whole visual black. thing. Yeah, it looks super cool in the photos. You see these hairs hanging off it. So but, um, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And everyone just loves your guitar style, of course. Ah, Alan there okay. from France. Hit us some blues guitar, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, buddy. Woo! Fantastic. Oh my goodness. And Tony, I'm just I'm so so delighted uh you came on and oh, I'm just I'm so excited about Rock Me Amadea. So excited. And um, you know, is there anything else you want to tell anyone? Oh yeah, the website. Well, I have the website in the link below, guys, so you'll see that. Oh yeah. Is it a website? Looks amazing. Is, it is it live already? Oh, maybe it's not, but I put the link up to it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it was actually live yet because we're not we're still in construction. But yeah, we're gonna be. It doesn't matter because, quite honestly, yeah, why not see it in construction? You can get a little yeah. uh, public opinion on what looks good and what looks bad. Exactly, exactly. Well, it's rockmeamadeuslive.com, actually. So it's rockmeamadeuslive.com. So it's pretty easy to remember. And uh, I can't wait, Tony. You're so good for coming on. And, uh, you, you know. Are you kidding me? This is fun. This is really <laughs> enjoy. And I don't get to see enough of you, so this is good. I know, I know. And like soon, soon, I really hope uh, we'll get to see each other soon. And I have my homework from you. I have to do a video for you tomorrow night and send it and can't wait. And thank you so much, Tony, for being oh, on. <laughs> Take care. Look forward for Tony Tuesdays coming soon. <laughs> Tony Tuesdays, Tony Tuesdays coming soon. Yes. yes. <laughs> Take thank care, you Tony. Oh, he's amazing. I have I have one more tip from Tony because I just I just wanted to to you know showcase some of his amazing guitar playing. And this is when he's playing his acoustic guitar, and it's just just gorgeous. And I hope you all love this clip. <laughs>
I love to finish up with a tune on the viola. It's always so relaxing and I want to thank you all so much for tuning in on YouTube and on Facebook and on my podcast, Maraid Mondays, Chats, Tunes and Crack. And I want to thank my very special guest today, the brilliant Tony Bruno, for coming on today. Thanks so much, Tony. And I'd love to play you this tune from my mother, Kathleen Nesbitt's Fiddle Tutorial Book and CD. And this is called Fuhig Misha on Balia Shah. And it's on page 22 of the book. And I'll see you next week with another amazing special guest.